So these kids are before, these are pri primary school kids, but they're young. And at third grade, check this out. At third grade, they would get to wear the scarf here. So this would be third grade here. And this would be the, the children's youth. Again, this is the house of Kim Il-sung, the liberator, uh, basically the grandfather. And again, you can see these kids coming up here. They get the red scarf starting at third grade. And then at 15 years old, they move to the pin, which you'll see every, every Korean has that red pin right there. So, does this happen every time kind you of, come? Yeah, the, the red pin is, I guess, significance of joining the party. They even bring their very, very small kids in here. Look at these kids all dressed up here. But even look at their teachers. Teachers are dressed really well. I mean, they may not make a lot of money, but they, they dress a lot better than a lot of American teachers do. Yeah. You see the kids are bringing flowers for Kim Il Soon. First or second graders here. Again, because it. Oh, look at this. All the flowers the kids are laying here for the monument to Mil Sung. And you can see these are the workers. They bring them in to, to, uh, to pay tribute to the great leader. And these look like some kids coming to pay tribute from the uh, sports club. So they're probably athletes. It looks like we're going to jump on the tram here which is basically one of their main uh, transportation systems within the uh, within the city. We're a little bit outside of the city. And again, you see a lot of people walking. Some soldiers there. So you can see here, they... Uh, they, they, they plant wherever they can go. These look like uh, housing, housing projects over here. They're pretty. See, they, they, they have they're in charge of the KRTC and some other farms. They're in charge of this farm there. Or, so. Kind of waving to the kids there, man. <laughs> 